everyone and welcome to Dharma TV. I'm Lola and in this video we're going to be looking at the Bhagavad Gita. So the Bhagavad Gita, here I have a copy, is part of the Mahabharata which is the oldest poem in the world. The Mahabharata is basically a Sanskrit epic. It's an ancient text and is basically really, really long. <laughs> I don't know if I'm selling it. Um, so the Gita, uh, an extraction from the Mahabharata, is essentially, uh, it, it, it captures the dialogue between two central characters, Arjuna and Krishna. So in this sense, we, we, we have, you know, it's Lord Krishna, but he appears as an avatar to Arjuna in the form of his charioteer, Arjuna being a warrior on his way into battle. So the story is set uh, on a battlefield. Arjuna and Krishna are on their way into war and it's basically Arjuna, Arjuna, Arjuna pouring his woes out to Krishna. He's looking for the answers to the questions of life and he's posing these questions to, to Krishna. Krishna answers him. Um, so as I said, it's set on this battlefield, but the battlefield is far more symbolic because even though there's a war about to take place, wait for the siren, it's getting louder and louder, <laughs> all the suspense. So even though there's a war about to take place, um, it, it's symbolic of the war within. So Arjuna, he's experiencing this anguish, this inner turmoil, but it's all about how each and every one of us goes through life kind of asking these questions, going through essentially a war within ourselves. So we, we recommend uh, the Bhagavad Gita to our students. Well, we, we get our students on our teacher training course to read the Bhagavad Gita to engage with it because it explores so many essential and valuable topics within yoga. It looks at Dharma, Karma, the, san the Sankhya philosophy. It, it explores the mind. Um, and with that, with that in mind, it looks at the concepts of Purusha and Prakriti, so the eternal and nature. It also explores the concept of yoga, but I don't mean yoga in the asana, in like the physical sense. I mean yoga of the mind. So it looks at uh, the different types of yoga. That's Janani yoga, that's the yoga of knowledge and wisdom, Bhakti yoga, the yoga of devotion, Karma yoga, the yoga of selfless action or selfless service, and Raja yoga, the royal yoga, the yoga of the mind. So we don't actually know who wrote the Gita or the Mahabharata, though they are often attributed to the sage Vyasa. Now the Gita is written into 18 chapters, breaking each and every topic down within each individual chapter. We recommend Eckhart Eknath <laughs> as Warren's commentary on the Gita because he, well, he, A, he makes it really simple, B, it makes it so accessible to people, and C, because he really ties in very much a yogic perspective, a philosophical approach, and a spiritualistic aspect within his commentary. Thank you all so much for watching, everybody. If you haven't already, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep up to date with all our videos. We'll see you next week. Thank you once again. Um Shanti, Namaste.